Hi there, Chris, Chapin the Cap from Moto Legends. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a review of summer gloves, and those gloves are what I would call proper summer gloves, in that they were lightweight gloves with no membrane. And of course, if it's really hot, that's the kind of glove you want to wear. But this is the UK. We do not have that many days across the summer where you genuinely need to have a summer glove. Because let's face it, you can go out in the morning, the sun can be out, it can look as though it's going to be a lovely day, but by lunchtime it's raining and suddenly that glove isn't as appropriate. Now, broadly speaking, there are three types of glove in the market. There are lots of subcategories, but there are three main categories. There's the pure summer glove, which is the one that we discussed in our last review. There's the full on winter glove. Now, what this glove has is a membrane because if it rains, and as it's a winter glove, one imagines it could rain a lot. Obviously, that's going to stop your hands getting wet, but it's also got a thermal liner of some description, so it's going to keep your hands warm. So that's the glove you wear in the winter. That's the glove you wear in the summer. They are both known as one season gloves. You wouldn't really wear the winter glove in the summer. You wouldn't wear the summer glove in the winter. This is a summer waterproof glove that we sometimes know as a two to three season glove because you can wear this glove from say the middle of the spring right through to the middle of the autumn. So it's covering certainly two and sometimes three seasons. And who knows if you've got heated grips, if you've got powerful heated grips, you can sometimes wear these quite deeply into the autumn. I would suggest that this is not the kind of glove you're gonna wear if you're seriously commuting, if you're going out in the very coldest weather, but with heated grips, this is a very practical glove. Now, the definition of a summer waterproof glove is that it has a membrane, but it has no thermal lining. Anything that's got a thermal lining is in our view, a winter glove. Now, the membrane is doing two things in these gloves. Firstly, it's stopping your hands getting wet because as we've already alluded to, it might look as though it's gonna be a great day, it rains, you don't wanna get cold hands, so a membrane is useful at all times of the year. But it's also gonna keep your hands much warmer because a waterproof membrane is also a windproof membrane. So this glove is gonna be appreciably warmer than this glove because the membrane is stopping the wind and the wind chill factor cooling your hand down. But importantly, when it's warm, the membrane is still gonna allow your skin to breathe. In the summer, this glove is just gonna to be too hot, it's gonna be sticky and clammy. But the membrane in this glove will still allow the sweat from your hands to evaporate, to allow a, an element of evaporative cooling to keep the skin cool. So it is, in fact, the most wearable and most useful of gloves. And if you were trying to ride all year with one glove, that would be it. There is a problem with any glove with a lining, and, in the hottest, and it's that in the hottest weather, it can be a wee bit sticky. So I just want to address one issue now because I don't want to have to go through it at, with every glove that I look at, because I'm going to go on and talk about some of our favorite gloves in a minute. The problem is the membrane coming out. So it's a summer glove. You're going to be wearing it on warm days. So even though the membrane is helping sweat escape to keep you cool, there will be a buildup of moisture inside the glove. That just cannot be helped. Your hand also expands when it's hot, so it gets bigger inside the glove. And what you can find is that the hand becomes quite tight inside the glove. And we have a lot of people coming here to the shop in Guildford saying, the membrane came out of my glove. Now, I just want to emphasize, membranes do not come out of gloves. They are pulled out of gloves. And if a membrane comes out of a glove, it's because you've pulled it out and there's a way of making sure that that doesn't happen. And it's very simple. Some people know what they should be doing, but then when they're hot and sticky and they're trying to get somewhere in a hurry, they forget. But there is a way of making sure that your membrane will never come out, and it's this. You undo the glove, you get your hand over the four fingers, you hold them firmly, and what that does, because the membrane is attached at the fingertips, if you've got a firm grip on that and you pull your hand out, then the membrane cannot come out. So just be careful with gloves like this because they do have a membrane, they will get sticky, you are gonna wear them in the heat, and if you do not want the membrane to come out, you need to pull them off properly because technically when you pull a membrane out of a glove, that's not a warranty issue, that's a wear and tear issue. Anyway, let's now go and look at some of our favorite summer waterproof gloves. So 
this is the Rucker Stancer Glove from Finnish brand Rucker, obviously, and it's new for 2020. And in essence, it's a replacement for a glove that was in the Rucker range for many years. That was called the Argosaurus Glove. Now, the Argosaurus was, as this is, a summer road glove, a waterproof summer road glove, but with sporting pretension. So like the Argosaurus, this is quite an aggressive glove. You've got this great big hard knuckle protector here, got some nice little vents in it and a bit of mesh behind it. Again, quite sporty, the kind of thing that you might see on a racing glove. The other thing that identifies it as a more racy style of glove is that you've got this bit of leather here. I think this is called the Bayless Step. It goes back to when Troy Bayless um, had his finger pulled off, or in fact, I think he had it cut off because he wanted to go racing the next week weekend. But basically, by having that piece of leather there, it stops your finger being pulled back. You've also got a fairly long cuff, and again, that is reminiscent of a race glove. So if you are wearing a leather jacket or a sporting leather jacket, you can wear this over, but equally, that cuff is fairly thin. You could get it under a textile um, a jacket as well. It's an all leather glove. Again, you would expect that of a racing glove. So. It's about as safe and protective and abrasion resistant as you're ever going to find. The membrane inside it is a laminated membrane. It's a Gore-Tex Gore Grip membrane. Now, in truth, if we were going to be riding right through the winter, we wouldn't choose a leather glove, but this is a summer glove. This glove is not going to wet out in the summer. So it's going to keep you as dry as you're going to expect a glove of this sort ever to do. Um, it feels very sturdy, very safe. You've got extra layers of leather here um, on the palm. You've got a piece of leather here between the thumb and the palm. That's meant to stop your finger being pulled back. Um, and that leather runs all the way down the side of the hand here. You've got soft protectors on the minor knuckles. So here, the three protectors here, and then further down on the lowest knuckles, you've got protectors there as well. The fingers have got external seams. That again is often used in racing gloves. Sometimes don't think it looks as good as internal seams, but externally sewn seams are more comfortable because by definition, the seams on the outside, you don't have anything that's gonna get in the way on the inside. So it again makes these gloves very comfortable. You've got a visor wipe here on the left hand. Um, in terms of protectors, you've also got, in addition to these ones on the knuckles, you've got some down the outside of the thumb. You've got one here on the scaphoid. Here's a slider, so a slider is important. If you do go down, we tend to put our hands out. You want a slider to slide on the ground so that it doesn't pull your hand back, and that looks as though it's a slider that's going to work. Um, accordion stretch here on the fingers. The idea with accordion stretches, when you put your hands around the grip, that stretch, those stretch bands open. It just means you're not fighting with the leather. It makes a glove more comfortable. To the same end, you've got the only bit of textile on the glove really is here at the back of the wrist. That kind of does the same thing as you put your hand around the grips that will open up. For closure, you've got Velcro straps at the wrist and the cuff. Um, that's pretty much it. It just feels like a really solid glove. It feels like a, ruck, a rucker glove. Rucker use only the best components and then they put them together with longevity in mind. And of course, with this glove, you get a two year warranty, which you don't get with many gloves these days. So it's a fantastic solid glove. It's gonna be nice to wear throughout the summer. And it's amazing value. It's just 65 pounds, which we think is amazing. Um, no, in fact, I'm, I'm just joking. This is a 250 pound glove. It is furiously expensive. It's what you would expect of Rucker. Whether you feel it's worth that kind of money, that's up to you and your perceptions of the Rucker brand. This is the Atlantic glove from the Belgian brand Risha. Now, Risha is not a high-end manufacturer. They are a mid-market brand, but they do make some fantastic gloves and they are known at times for punching above their weight. And this is an amazing glove. It has a spec that is a match for anything from Rucker, but at a price that Rucker couldn't even dream of. So let's talk it through. It's a mix of leather and a little bit of textile, so leather on the palm, which is what you would expect. Most of the back is leather, but around the wrist here we have a little bit of textile. It has a Gore-Tex laminated membrane, so a gore grip membrane, so it will not wet out. In terms of protection, this is a D3O knuckle protector. Now, this sits somewhere between a hard and a soft knuckle protector. Some people really like hard knuckle protectors. We're not convinced. Remember, D3O is what we have in our knees, 
in our hips, in our elbows and shoulders. I'm not sure you really need a hard protector unless you're racing. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a great knocker protector because it's really nice and comfortable, but it's going to absorb um, any energy in an impact. The other things you get with this glove that are just very high end and um, reflect well upon the glove is you've got a, a large amount of super fabric. Now super fabric is the material, it's the most abrasion resistant fabric you can use on motorcycle gear. Rucker used to use it on some of their jackets but it became too expensive. Klim use it on some of theirs. It is a fantastic material in terms of abrasion resistance and you've got it on the slider here, on the palm slider and you've also got it down the side of the hand. So that's an amazing feature on a glove that, as I'm going to come on to, is not awfully expensive. You've got accordion stretch here in the fingers, We've discussed this before, but what that is designed to do is as you put your hands around the bars, it all kind of stretches. This is also a stretch panel here, so it makes the glove really quite easy and quite comfortable to wear. On the palm, you've got a digiprint, a layer of digiprint leather here. Digiprint leather is a leather with a texture on it. It helps grip, but that's also a thumb restraint. You've also got an extra layer of leather runs down the side of the hand that encompasses this um, super fabric uh, panelling, as it were. You've got a, both a wrist and a cuff Velcro strap. You've got a visor wipe. You've got a touchscreen sensitive finger and you've got reflectors here on the back of the hand, but also here on the fingers. It is an amazing spec. It's a really comfortable glove, really nice to wear and it costs only $119.99. So honestly, if this glove came from someone like Rucker, I've got to tell you, it would be much nearer to a £200 glove. So this glove has got everything that you need. It is comfortable, it is protective, it's going to be waterproof, it's got some premium materials like the D3O and the Super Fabric. It's an amazing glove for the money. So this is the Orbit glove from the Swedish brand Helvarsons. We're huge respecters of Halvarsons. They produce really reliable gear that you can depend on. And it's always at a reasonable price point. Now, this glove has um, a classic combination. Most of the back is textile, it's kind of the way we like it because that's the bit that's gonna get rain and the rain is not gonna soak into a textile fabric as much as it will into a leather. The, the palms on this glove are leather. So you want leather on the palm always if you can because that's nicer for feel and also if you go down it's more abrasion resistant so um, that combination works well for us the membrane inside is a dryway plus membrane that's a membrane developed by Halvarsons. it's their own membrane it works incredibly well we know it across a large number of their products we never have any issues with it it is a drop liner membrane rather than a laminated membrane so in heavy rain this, got, this isn't going to perform quite as well as a laminated glove but we are after all, talking about a summer glove here. What you do get with Halvarsons, and they use it across all of their products, is they use a, an anti-abrasion material, a highly um, abrasion-resistant material in vulnerable areas. So in this glove, you will have this material, and it's called High Art, will line the palm. Now, when it's used in leather, that increases the strength of the fabric to which it's attached by a factor of 200 cents, so times three. So that works incredibly well. You I've got here a panel of digiprint leather with a thumb restraint. You've also got a digiprint leather here on the palm. That's meant to be a slider. I think it would be okay. Really, you want something that slides really well. Leather doesn't slide well. That's maybe a little bit more slidey than a normal piece of leather, but it's not the, the ultimate solution in our view. In terms of protection, you've got a hard knuckle protector here, albeit with foam on the inside. You've got then protectors across the knuckles as well. Um, you've got a wrist and a cuff strap, so a two strap system is going to make it very secure, it's not going to come off. You've got accordion stretch in the fingers here, accordion stretch we like, we want a glove to be comfortable and when you've got, a, when you've got accordion stretch when you put your hands like that, the gaps in, this, in these uh, panels open, it just makes it easier to get your hands around the bars. The ends of the fingers, you've got a system that Halvarsen's called MC Fit. Now, that's done for two reasons. It's done to give you better feel 
on the bars because when you don't have a loose membrane, it's basically a bonded membrane at the end of the fingers. So that gives you much better feel. It's also a way of securing the membrane into the gloves so that you cannot pull the membrane out. But don't be too swayed by that. At the beginning of this review, I showed you how to pull gloves off. Even if you've got MC fit, even in a glove that's a fully laminated glove, you can pull the membrane out. And if not the membrane, you can pull the inner liner out. So even though this glove has got MC fit, please pull them off in the standard way. The other thing we've got on this glove is some reflective piping on the back. So it's a glove that does everything. It's priced at 79 pounds, which I think is about right. It is not an amazing glove. It's not an outstanding glove, but it's well priced. It's solid, reliable. It does what you would expect. In some ways, it's classic Helvarsons. This is the Boston Summer Glove from the super cool French brand Helston's. Now, we love Helston's for the last three or four years. We have been the sole importer of all of their gear. We recently came to an accommodation with them that means that you will start to see Helston's gear in some other retailers. But the truth is that in that time, we've got to know the brand and respect what they do. They produce just the most beautiful leather jackets. The treatments are to die for, very safe bits of kit, come fully armored, waterproof membranes, thermal liners. Their, their jackets are amazing. Their boots are pretty good too. Their gloves, I'm not quite so convinced by. Some of the gloves are very nice, but I think when you go for a Helston's glove, you are very much trading, I suppose, style. You're trading off a little bit of safety and protection. So the Boston glove is not a particularly technical glove. It's a very cool looking glove. You're buying it for style. I hate to use the word hipster, but if you've got a certain kind of bike, if a lot of your riding is done around town or you just pop down, down to the shops occasionally, if you want a cool looking glove to wear with your cool looking leather jacket, then a glove like this is certainly going to work. Um, but it is not the kind of glove that you're going to go riding at high speeds down the motorway, you wouldn't go touring in a glove like this and so on. But anyway, let's talk through through the glove because it does have some features that are um, worthy of mention. Clearly, it's got a waterproof membrane, so it's going to keep your hands dry when it rains. But the counter that is every bit of this glove, there's no textile on it at all. It is completely leather. So it is gonna have a higher propensity than many gloves to soak the rain in. So again, this isn't the kind of glove that you're gonna to wanna to be riding in three, four, five hours of rain. For an hour or so, it's gonna be fine. But after that, I think you're gonna find that this is not the best glove to wear just because it's leather all over. In terms of further protection, you've got um, some extra layers of leather here on the palm. What Helsons do with all of their gloves, they actually use genuine Kevlar. They put some Kevlar in the palm, so if you go down, there is added abrasion resistance in there. There is some accordion stretch here on the thumbs and on the fingers. It's actually because of the treatments that Helsons use with their leathers, it's actually a very soft glove. And that is very much part of the Helsons thing. They have this secret blend. They won't tell anyone what's in it, but their secret blend of waxes and oils. They treat their leathers, sometimes to make them more waterproof, sometimes to give them a particular kind of patina, sometimes to make them softer. But this is actually already a very soft glove, but the accordion stretch just makes them more so. Um, in terms of the, the strap and the wrist, it's a fairly short wrist, which is what you'd expect because you're going to be wearing this with a leather jacket. You don't necessarily want a cuff that goes, you don't want a longer, a longer cuff that's going to go underneath the jacket. You can just wear this, it can butt up against the leather jacket. You've got two straps here. Um, and that really is, is the glove. It is what it is. Um, not the most protective glove, for example, no hard knuckle protectors, nothing to absorb energy. There's no energy absorbing pads, but it is what it is. It comes in brown and black. It's super cool. It's very comfortable. And to be fair, at a price of 59 pounds, it's a pretty good value glove too. This is the Zadar glove, Z-A-D-A-R. The Zadar glove from the Swedish brand Helvarsons. Now, we love Helvarsons. We are one of their biggest sellers in the world. We've been with them ever since they came to the UK. They produce gear that is great value, that does what it says on the tin. It's not super sexy gear, but it's the kind of gear that you really can rely on. Now, for 2020, they have introduced a number of really nice new gloves. I'm just not convinced that this is one of them. Let me talk it through with you. I'll 
walk through the glove and then I'll explain why I'm a little bit disappointed with it. So the chassis of the glove is a goat napper. We like goat. Goat is thinner than cowhide, but stronger than cowhide. So we think it's a lovely material for um, a glove. You've got some stretch panels here in between the fingers that make it reasonably comfortable. And they're going to also allow some airflow because there's nowhere else for air to get into these gloves. You've got a high art lining in the palm. Now, high art is an anti-abrasion material that is specific to Halvarsons. They developed it. When it's put behind leather, it increases the strength of the leather by 200%, so times three. So that's in the palm. It means that if you go down with these gloves, they're going to be pretty strong. The membrane is a Dryway Plus membrane. Again, that is how Varsen's own membrane works incredibly well. It's not a laminated membrane, it's a drop liner membrane, but let's give them a break. This is a summer glove. We're not expecting to be out in the heaviest of rain a lot of the time. You've got a wrist strap here. Um, obviously, at the rest, wrist, it's a pretty short wrist. You've got touchscreen sensitive fingers. Um, you've got some soft protectors here. You've got a a soft protector on the main knuckle and then you've got some minor protectors here on the minor knuckles and you've got some extra areas of leather on the palm including this thumb restraint so all the components are there if i have a problem with this glove it's just not as comfortable as it should be it's a goatskin glove it should be really nice to wear but what this glove doesn't have it doesn't have any accordion stretch anywhere nor does it have an open back an open back is a system whereby you have a um, an opening here and underneath that is elastic so that when you put your hands around the grips the glove moves but I do feel with these gloves that as I put them around the grips I'm having to fight with, with the glove now maybe because it's goat skin over time it's going to get softer in fact I'm sure it's going to be but I just feel that this is not the glove that it should be I suppose the counterpoint is it is not an expensive glove it's a 59 pound glove and for that I suppose you're going to expect that there are going to be some bells and whistles missing. But I don't think the things that I'm talking about would have added a great deal to the cost of this glove. And if they'd put some accordion stretch in to make it more comfortable and this had become a £65 glove, I still think it would have been a great value glove. So it's a nice glove. It's going to be a safe glove. It's going to keep you dry. All of those things, not expensive, but still I'm a tad disappointed. So this is the Virium glove from the Finnish brand Rucker. It's not an inexpensive glove. Rucker gloves are not inexpensive, but actually it has proven with us at least to be incredibly popular, particularly with people who are doing high mileages who are commuting from, say, Guildford into London every day. It's a glove that seems to fit well and it just lasts. It does what you would expect it to do. It is a very comfortable glove. There's not a lot of bulk to it, so it's very easy to wear. In terms of its construction, it's pretty much all textile. Now, that is a great aid to waterproofing because leather is still gonna soak a bit of rain in. So even though we're talking about summer gloves here today, a glove that's all te textile is gonna stay drier and more waterproof. The palm is also a faux leather. Now, I hesitate to say that this is a vegan glove. I was told by someone that it is a vegan glove, but then somebody pointed out, somebody came up with a, a statistic that said there is 3% of leather in the glove. So I cannot claim absolutely that this is a vegan glove. You've got a mid-length cuff which means that um, if you put your textile jacket over it, you're gonna have a complete uh, uh, block, as it were, in terms of waterproofing. The membrane itself is a laminated Gore-Tex membrane, so it doesn't get better than that. So this is a glove that's not gonna wet out, even in the heaviest rain pour, because, as I've said, there's no leather. You get a hard knuckle protector, albeit with a foam liner. Um, you've got minor, on the minor knuckles, you've got rubber protectors here. On the palm, you've got a slider. Important, if you go down, you want the hand to slide. You don't want it to uh, catch and get pulled back. You've got digiprint panels here across the palm. That's for grip, but also here on the ends of the fingers. Reflective piping here on the back of the hand. You've got two closures for the wrist, one at the wrist itself and one at the cuff. Um, you've got touchscreen sensitive fingers and obviously you've got a visor wipe. So this is a great glove if you're a serious high mileage rider but riding throughout the summer, this is an amazing glove. It is £159.99, £159.99, um, but it has a two year warranty. We sell a lot of these gloves and people love them. This is the Beast glove from Swedish brand 
Halvarsons. Now in today's review we're looking at three different pairs of Halvarsons glove and I feel a little bit guilty because I've not been completely complimentary about two of the other pairs but we really do highly regard the Halvarsons brand. We've worked with them ever since they came to the UK. We're one of their largest sellers. It's a fantastic brand. Their stuff is great value and their stuff does what it's meant to do. I just was perhaps not quite so bowled over with some of those other gloves that we looked, looked at. This, however, is the exception. This is an amazing glove. So let's just talk it through. Um, it's a glove, by the way, that I've thought long and hard about whether including in this review because it does have a thermal component. And the definition, as I mentioned at the beginning of a summer waterproof glove is that it has a waterproof membrane, but no thermal. But the thermal in this is very clever. It works in a slightly different way. So I felt that it was worthy of inclusion. But anyway, let's talk through the glove. We have a goat skin palm. We like goat. It's thinner than cowhide, but for its thickness, it's stronger. So it makes for a very comfortable glove. In this case, with Helvarsons, because what Helvarsons does on all of their gloves, they line their palms with a material called high art. High art is an, um, it's not a Kevlar, but it's an abrasion resistant material. It increases the strength of leather by 200%, so makes the leather three times stronger. So if you go down with these gloves, they're a very strong glove. The back of the glove is largely textile. I'll come back and talk through some of the, the details, but we like a glove that has a leather palm and a textile back, because the textile is gonna be less prone to um, absorbing water in the rain. It's a mid-length cuff. It's got a couple of wrist straps here, but that means that this is going to easily go inside. It's not a particularly bulky uh, cuff. It's gonna go inside a textile jacket quite easily. Um, the membrane in this glove is Halvarsen's own Dryway Plus membrane. We know the membrane incredibly well. It is used in all of their jackets and trousers. It's incredibly reliable. There are never any problems with their membrane. In this glove, of course, it is a drop liner membrane. It's not a laminated membrane. So there is a possibility that in three or four hours rain, this could wet out, whereas a glove with a laminated membrane might not. But it's a summer glove. You're not gonna find yourself in those circumstances a lot. Um, the upside to having a glove that does not have a laminated membrane is it's a wee bit warmer. Um, the membrane is secured in this glove through a system that Halvarsen's called MC Fits, and that's basically a lamination of the membrane at the end of the fingertips, not through the entire glove, just at the fingertips. Now, that's done for two reasons. It gives you a little bit more feel on the bars because if the membrane is loose there, it, there's an air gap, it moves around, you don't get quite as good a feel. The second reason that they put MC Fit into some of their gloves is that it makes the membrane harder to pull out. But please don't ignore what I said at the very beginning of this review, there is a way of taking a glove off. Now, even though these gloves have got MC Fit, if it's a wet day, but a warm day, your hands expanded, if you do not pull this glove off the correct way, you can still undo that MC Fit, you can still pull these gloves off. In terms of passive protection, you've got a large soft protector on the back of the knuckles. There is a debate, there always is, about hard knuckles versus soft knuckles. We, I think, on balance prefer soft knuckles. I can see a case for hard knuckles if you're racing. But remember that the protectors that you have in your jacket, in the elbows, in the shoulders, or in your trousers, in the hips and the knees, they are soft protectors. I think for the road, those kind of protectors work um, incredibly well. You've got protectors also on the minor knuckles, on the thumb. You've got a couple here on the wrist and also on the palm here. Um, not a slider, ideally what we'd like to see on a glove because it means that if you go down and you put your hands out, if it's leather, it can pull your hands back and that can create all kinds of problems. We like something that slides. Truth, I'm not sure that that's gonna slide particularly well. It's just going to absorb a wee bit of energy. In terms of comfort, these gloves are very comfortable. Um, they have accordion stretch here on the fingers you've got some accordion stretch on the thumb, but interestingly, you've got an open back. And again, all this is about ensuring that when you put your hands around the bars, you're not fighting at the material. Normally, under an open back, you will then have a stretch material. On this particular glove, you've actually got more accordion stretch. So it just makes this a really comfortable glove when you are articulating it. It just moves, moves with you. In terms of the palm and protection. You've got an extra layer of leather that comes all the way down the side of the hand, a little bit here where you grip the bars and a, 
um, a, thumb, a thumb restraint here that's useful. It just stops the thumb being pulled back if you do have an accident. Um, you've got a reflector here that's just going to give you a little bit more um, visibility at night. You do not have, because this is seen by Hal Varsons as a summer glove, you do not have a visor wipe, um, which might be seen as a bit of a shame. You also do not have touchscreen sensitive fingers. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this review that this glove has a thermal element to it, and it does, but that thermal element is Outlast. Now, Outlast is incredibly clever. Um, it does mean that you can probably wear this glove deeper into the winter than almost any other glove that we are discussing today. Outlast works by storing heat in paraffin molecules in the membrane. So if you are going out in these gloves in the winter, what you would do, you need to wear them first, you need to get heat into them, maybe leave them by a radiator, and those paraffin molecules absorb the heat. So you could wear these gloves into November, maybe even December. They work really well with heated gloves. So it is, for some people, going to mean that really this glove is the glove that does everything. But the reason that I felt I could include them in this particular review is that Outlast does the opposite in the summer. It's a temperature regulating material. And in the summer, what happens is if your hand is hot and you put the glove on, it's going to take heat away from the hand and store it in the membrane that's actually going to cool you down. So that's why I felt this was still a great glove for the summer because actually it's going to be a very cool glove as well. So that's the Beast glove. The other thing that I think is amazing about this glove is the price. It's £99 and you do get an amazing amount of technology for £99, especially as of all the gloves that I think we sell, this is a glove, if you decided I only want one pair of gloves, this is the pair of gloves that you would wear. This glove kind of does everything. It'll be great in the summer, but you really could wear it in the winter as well. This is the Calix glove from Finnish brand Rucker. It is basically an updating, uh, an improvement I would say over a glove that's been in the Rucker range for a number of years, that glove was called the Serres glove. It is a glove that's very similar in concept. It's mostly a leather glove. There are small areas of textile around the glove here at the end of the fingertips and here in the wrist. That's just to add a little bit of comfort. It's a material called Taz, Tazlan and it's got some stretch in it. It is a Gore-Tex glove. The membrane is laminated inside the glove, so this is not the kind of glove that's going to wet out. If you were wearing it all through the winter, if you've got four or five hours of rain in this, then maybe the leather would be soaking too much moisture in, but this is a summer glove. You're not going to find yourself in those conditions a lot. Very protective glove. You've got a very tough carbon knuckle protector here, but a soft foam behind it. So um, the hard protector is about punch resistance, but the foam inside it is going to absorb energy. You've got protectors on the minor knuckles here. You've got three across here with little mesh panels so it's going to flow a little bit of air and here in the fingers also you've got some um, little protectors there to protect your knuckles at the end of the fingers. You've got extra layer of leather or some extra layers of leather across the palm. You've got a thumb restraint here. You've got a layer down the side of the hand that comes all the way across the palm and that holds on to the slider here. Slider is important. If you go down, you want to have your, you want to make sure that your hands can slide. If they catch on the, on the road and pull back, it can cause all kinds of shoulder injuries and so on. You've got a little pour on pad here on the scaphoid. Um, in terms of comfort, these stretch panels, these Taslan panels make a contribution towards that, but you've also got a cordian stretch here in the fingers, accordion stretch, obviously as you articulate your fingers around the grips that opens up and it just makes the glove a little bit more comfortable. If you don't have accordion stretch, and of course there's an accordion stretch panel here as well, if you don't have that what you find is as you put your hand around the grips it's kind of you are fighting against the fabric, it's not as comfortable. In terms of the other features that you've got, you've got a visor wipe here on the left hand, um, you've got a strap, a single strap, it's a short cuff so you don't need two straps, so you've got a short cuff with a single strap that's going um, to tighten it up nicely. You've got a reflective band here, a 3M reflective band, and fingers, the end fingers, the index fingers are touchscreen sensitive. So it is a beautiful glove. It feels in the way that Rucker gloves always do. It feels beautifully put together, really solid, feels really safe, but at the same time it's a very protective glove. 
being a rucker glove, it comes with a two year warranty, which you do not get with a lot of gloves. It is not inexpensive. It's £209.99. In fact, that makes it pretty expensive in our view, but it's got pretty much everything. It's a fantastic glove. So this is the adventure glove from the American adventure brand Klim. Now, we only got back into bed with Klim last year in 2019. We'd actually worked with them many years ago, but we went off in one direction, they went off in another, and it just didn't work. But ever since we came back on board, we have been deeply impressed with their products. Their products are incredibly well thought through, beautifully put together, amazing attention to detail, all of the best components. And this is a fabulous glove. But it was only recently, we've been selling this glove for a year, it comes in three different colorways, by the way. It was only when I looked more carefully at this glove the other night that I realized why it is so nice to wear. And that is that the chassis underneath the glove, it's almost completely a hundred, sorry, a thousand denier Cordura stretch. Now that's the material that they use on the Marrakesh jacket. So it's very strong in its own right. A thousand denier is not insubstantial. Um, in fact, it's very substantial. But it's got stretch in, it flows the air beautifully. But then what we've got is the overlays, the leather is on top of that. So what it does, it makes the base of this glove incredibly stretchy. And that's why it is just so beautiful and comfortable to wear. The membrane, because obviously it's a waterproof glove, is a Gore-Tex membrane. So it's a um, Gore-Grip membrane. So wetting out is not going to be an issue. It's a fairly short cuff, but this is a glove that comes out of adventure riding. When you're adventure riding, you want to allow, you want to be able to have air go up the, the sleeve. So that's why you wouldn't necessarily want a longer cuff. The knuckle, um, the major knuckle and the minor knuckles, and here on the slider, this is a ceramic abrasion resistant material. Now it's not super fabric, but I think it's designed to do the same job. So clearly, for whatever reason, Klim decided that they could find either a better or a different or a less expensive version of super fabric, but in essence, it's doing the same job. This protector here is a hard knuckle protector, but it's got something like pour on underneath it, and it'll be pour on that absorbs the energy. You've also got pour on um, here beneath the slider here. Um, we've got a nice open back arrangement. I've discussed with some of the other gloves, open backs. Open backs are nice because it just means that when you put your hand around the grip, that glove can stretch. Now, because this is the stretch, the thousand denier stretch underneath, it makes the glove incredibly comfortable. But what we have here, it's a system I've not seen on any other gloves because I've not come across another glove that's made like this. Instead of accordion stretch panels, we have slits in the leather. So what that does is, provided the leather slits, the material underneath it is a stretch material. So you don't need accordion stretch, you just need a gap in the leather. And then when you bend your finger, then it's the stretch underneath that's moving. So it's a very clever glove. And as I've said, it's a very comfortable glove. In terms of other features, obviously there's leather all across the palm. It's a hydrophobically treated. So even though you've got the membrane, it's a hydrophobically treated, which means it, it rejects water, a hydrophobically treated goat skin. We love goat skin because goat skin is thinner than cowhide, but stronger than cowhide. So you've got all the components in this glove that you could ever want. You've got touchscreen sensitive finger. You've got a visor wipe on the left hand. You've got a wide Velcro strap here. Um, again, with this uh, ceramic, it's lined with this uh, ceramic material. You've even got a nice little touch, which is an assist loop. So when you're pulling the glove on, um, that makes it a wee bit easier. So an amazing glove, typical in terms of the attention to detail of the kind of gear that we're seeing from Klim. Now, Klim gear is not inexpensive. It's a 190 pound glove. We sometimes get embarrassed when gloves approach the 200 pound figure, but it's just one of those gloves you put on and go, I can't live without these. It's a fantastic glove. You've got to decide whether it's worth paying 190 pounds for them. So this is the guard glove from the German brand Stadler. Now Stadler is not a particularly well-known brand in the UK, very well known in Germany, which is obviously where they come from. They supply gear, suits and gloves to 100% of the German police forces. So it's a company that is right up there in terms of protection, one of the most prestigious companies on the market. They produce fantastic gear. And this indeed is one of the most protective summer waterproof gloves that you'll ever find. So let's just talk through it. The palm is a goat skin. We've got 
largely textile on the back. We've got bits of leather, but it's a mix of textile and leather on the back. Um, in terms of waterproofing, it's a laminated Gore-Tex membrane. So that's a Gore-Grip membrane. So there's not gonna be wetting out. Um, again, as we've discussed, this is a summer glove. We're not expecting it to be the best glove in a complete deluge. It's not a winter glove, but this is gonna be more than up to any kind of summer rain. In terms of comfort, we've got these accordion stretch panels here um, across the fingers so that when we put our fingers around the grips, that's gonna ease the pressure. It means you're not fighting against the leather. You've got the same here on the thumb. There's two accordion stretch panels here on the thumb and also on the back of the hand. In terms of protection, this glove uses super fabric. We know super fabric well. It is incredibly expensive, but it's the most abrasion resistant material you can use on a motorcycle, on, on an item of motorcycle apparel. So this is super fabric here on the back of the knuckle, but then also here on the minor knuckles of this finger and also down the outside of the hand. Also, the slider is a super fabric material. So again, when you go down, when you're doing that, that's gonna be a fantastic slide, of very strong, and it will slide. You've got extra layers of leather here across the hand, one here that's a thumb restraint, and also because it holds the super fabric, we've got an extra layer down the outside of the hand. Here on the outside of the cuff, there's a complete plastic frame. That's a protector, obviously, if you catch that or hit that somewhere. We've got two adjusters on the cuff, one at the wrist and one at the cuff. It's a fairly long cuff, so you could wear this over, but it's not so bulky that you couldn't get it under most jackets. You've got reflectors here on the fingers. Um, these little squares here are reflectors for extra visibility at night. For comfort, we've got externally sewn seams on the fingers. Maybe it's just a personal thing. I'm not a massive fan of external seams. It's just a little thing that I've got. I don't think they look as attractive, but they are more comfortable because when you have the, the seam on the inside, they can irritate a wee bit more. What you can do with that, you, on a good glove, you then shave the seam so that it's not irritable, but it's easier for a manufacturer to have an external seam. It makes the inside of the um, glove more comfortable. Um, finally, you've got a visor wipe on the left finger. Neither finger on this, by the way, is touchscreen sensitive. So it's an amazing glove. It is gonna be as protective as any glove out there. It feels incredibly well made. It's not inexpensive, it's 170 pounds. But for that, I think you get one of the best gloves on the market. So I hope you enjoyed our review of summer waterproof gloves. If you'd like to see more gloves, visit the website motorlegends.com. If you'd like to learn more about these particular gloves, then if you click on one of the links on the, on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes down there, that will take you to a section that is devoted to these gloves. There you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail. You can check out availability. And if you want to buy one of these pairs of gloves, then obviously you can do that there and then. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on anything you buy from us. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. We have the best price guarantee in the business. Now, John Lewis is rightly famed for its never knownly undersold promise. We go one stage better. If you can find a competitor selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat their price by a full 10%. If the retailers in the EU are not in the UK, we will match their landed price. Now, there are a few terms and conditions, nothing particularly onerous, but if you are gonna price beat us, I suggest you visit the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. If in the future you'd like to receive bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a little piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business, you'll receive bulletins from us in future. If on the other hand, you would prefer to get your information from us videographically, in other words, in this form, we would be delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now this is 2020, and before the end of the year, we're gonna be giving away a motorcycle to somebody who is a subscriber to our YouTube channel. We're calling the bike a Steve McQueen tribute bike. It's based on a Mutz 125cc machine. It's a lovely little cutie. You can read more about it on the front page of our website or on the home page of our YouTube channel. Finally, I'd like to make a play for our fabulous little shop here at Moto Legends. We're based about a mile from the center of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. As I've said, the shop is fairly small, does not have a large footprint, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than two million pounds worth of merchandise arranged over three floors. Technically, it makes this the 
second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just about the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we will serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.